Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I'm going to show you how to download Inkscape and then how to kind of set up your home screen and get everything ready for your first project in Inkscape. Okay, so here we are on the Inkscape homepage. It's inkscape.org, and I will link to this in the video. Um, Inkscape is 100% free. So you don't have to pay for this. Uh, you just download it onto your computer and then you start from there. So there's a few different downloads that you can do. just depends on the computer that you are putting this on. So if we come here to download now, you're going to get taken to this screen where you can pick how you want to download. Uh, Windows or Mac are probably going to be where you're most likely to go. Um, so you just click in and then you can download um, different options from there. We've got the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Most newer systems you can download this 64-bit. So you would click this and then um, you can in install it from the EXE format. You can use the quick Windows installer or you can do this um, zip drive. This one is going to be the quickest way, what you're most used to. You click this and then it gives you your little pop-up that says install and you go from there. I've already got this installed so I'm not going to go through that. But get it installed on your computer and then you should end up with an icon that you can click into. And this welcome screen will pop up. From here you can kind of customize how you want your Inkscape to look. I keep it on the classic Inkscape. Um, this is just what I like best, but there's several things that you can do. Um, you can come up to a grayscale and it'll gray everything out. You can do this colorful one and it'll make everything a nice color. You can set it to dark mode and it will go to dark mode like your um, computer or your phone would do. You can come up here and kind of change your keyboard. Um, if you work in Adobe a lot, you can change it to something that is more like your Adobe Illustrator keyboard. Um, if you don't know what this is, you just keep it as the default. And then um, your work area, you can change it solid white, um, dark checkerboard, light checkerboard. And you'll see what this is in a minute. I'm going to leave it at the default. So these are the settings that I like to use in my Inkscape, but you can set yours up however you want. So if yours looks different and you want to get it to look just like mine, these are the settings that I use. And I'm going to click Save. Um, this just lets you know that you can contribute to Inkscape. Um, I like to do that. Thanks. And now we're ready to draw. So you can do this for print or video or social. Um, print is usually what we're going for with what we are working on. And you've got your standard sizes of things here. We usually use this um, US letter, which is the eight and a half by 11. And now it's just gonna open a document with those settings that we have put in. So here's our standard page, the eight and a half by 11. Um, this default, when I was showing you that you could do a gray checkered or a black checkered, this area here would be checkered and then your work page would be white. You're going to get a menu over here. Yours is going to look completely different than mine when you set it up for the first time. In fact, it may not even be there. It might look just like this. So let me show you how to kind of get in and do some of those things that I just clicked out of. First of all, I want to center my work area here. So I'm going to hold control and move my mouse over because there, you notice there aren't any scroll bars on here. There's no way to move things. You have to hold the control or command on your computer and then use your mouse, right click it, and then you can move your page around. The colors down here. Um, you can choose different color palettes that show up. Again, this isn't every color that's available, but you'll notice there's no sliders. It's because it has these arrows. You can click through all these different color options down here. 
or you can set this up to look completely different. If you click your little hamburger icon, you have a ton of different options that you can even pick from. You can get all golds down there. You can get all greens down there. I keep it on the Inkscape default. Um, this SVG though, this is something that, you know, if you're creating a lot of SVGs, this is a popular one. These are some just general basic colors. But I like to keep the Inkscape default. And then something else you can do is configure it to um, different rows. Right now it has one row. But if I want to add more rows down here, I can make two rows, three rows, four rows. That's getting a bit extensive. Um, and you can make the sizes of each little color box bigger or smaller, however you want here. And you can put a thicker border around them if you want that white space in between them to be thicker. But I'm going to go back to just one row. And then to get to different colors, I will use my up and down arrows to scroll through for whatever it is I need. Okay, let's get this menu box over here. Some of the basic things that you're going to want are your alignment tools. So this right here is your alignment tool. If you click it, it will open it up over here for you. Another thing you're going to want is your fill and stroke tool. If you click that, it'll open it, and then you can just toggle back and forth between these. And this is our objects tool. It lets us see what layers and objects we're working with. It's empty because there's nothing here right now. But that's how you can set up your little menu over here. Um, that's how you can pick your colors down there. You pick your document size and how you want your screen to look. And we are all set up in Inkscape and ready to go. All right, we'll see you next time.